Our philosophy is simple. It's that we should produce a simple and familiar environment, not creating a new language. We, we believe that our industry doesn't need another complex BIM tool. We don't need a, you know, a tool for the BIM experts only. We're focused on making LOD Planner a, an inclusive application, something that involves everybody. Consolidated tools, you know, just to have them all in one area. Not yet. Not even calling it BIM execution yeah. planning. Early on, it was the BEP module. But we realized, and as people used it for loads of other things, we really saw it being just a plan. And it could be a plan that was related to something completely unrelated to BIM. Mm -hmm. And so we really removed that vernacular, that, that um, complex terminology, and produced something that was simple. Something that you know, you're both an expert and a newbie can start using. We have users on the platform that have never done this before and are getting great results. That's really, really um, rewarding for the team. You know, when you, if you were to take it back down the, to the basics and look at what a BIM execution plan is, or just a typical plan for any project, you'd, you'd have a plan with all your information, all your standards, and something that you use to share that. And then you have a scope area. You have something that would say, this is what um, this person is going to do. This is what we need as a project. And this is when we need it by. So, and then you need a workflow. So if you really look at the overall process, you can split it up into these three areas. And really, you know, now all of a sudden, someone that didn't know anything about a BIM execution plan can have an idea of that. I know if someone had just kind of broke it down into these kind of three different areas for me years ago, I think I would have caught on to it <laughs> a lot faster. And um, it, it, it's just going down to the basics on this. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, okay, let's take a look at our, let's call it a top 10 and then see how much time we have and see whether we can get through 10 or maybe